our feet firmly planted on the earth, our hips stacked on top, and our shoulders stacked on top of our hips, taking a few deep breaths in through the nose and sighing it out through the mouth. Two more just like that. Noticing the expansion of our rib cage laterally, the softening of our face, our shoulders, and our abdomen. Bringing our awareness to the breath in and out through the nose. Settling into the space around us, the sounds, the smells, and the temperature. And perhaps taking a moment to set an intention for today's practice, breathing in curiosity and letting go of expectation. Bringing our awareness back to the space around us, back to our breath and our physical sensations. And we'll blink our eyes open, and you're welcome at any time to close them back up once we find our flow. And we'll start by warming up the entire body. We'll start with some arm swings up and around as we squat down. Sweeping the arms around in one direction or the other, we'll do both. Inhaling as we stand up, reaching up. Exhaling as we sink down into our chair and through. Two more. And then we'll sweep the arms in a different direction. However it feels ergonomically for your body to move. Working through kinks that we might have in our neck. Three more. Next time, we're going to hold our chair. And we're going to hold, extending the arms diagonally or parallel to the floor, starting to feel a warming sensation of the legs. Keeping the tailbone tucked underneath, the abdomen is engaged, the shoulders are firing. Three, two, one. We'll inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale, bringing our hands to heart center. Deep breath in between. Good. Squatting all the way back down. And we're going to shuffle left to right. We can come off the mat. We can go to whatever speed feels right. Again, we're just warming up slowly and gently. Bringing our heart rates up a little bit. Changing 
changing our energy, changing patterns. Three more. Looking like little crabs running across. <laughs> and we'll come back to center. <laughs> Good. Bringing our shoulders up and back. And let's extend our right arm out. Bring our left hand to the top of our head. And we'll just come into a neck bend. Bringing our left ear to our left shoulder. Or if you're opposite, right ear to right shoulder. Maybe we move the head around. Maybe we move the arm around. Checking in with any areas of discomfort and breathing space into them. Good. Releasing our head down to center. Left arm comes down. Head can come all the way over to the right. Right arm comes on top. Gentle pressure on the head. Extending the neck long, extending the arm long. And we move around to find those areas that need a little bit more tender, loving care. Feeling our hearts possibly still beating heavy. Beautiful. Every, both arms down, letting our head roll to the center and then over to the left and the right. Gentle head rolls left to right. Releasing tension in our shoulders. Finding whatever range of motion feels good for us. Three more. Two. Last one. And then we come back to center. Rolling our shoulders up and back. Head comes up and we reset, coming to the back of our mat. We'll do walkouts to a plank and walk back in standing up. So we did this last week, so we're gonna bend the knees to start as much as we need in order to get to the mat safely. We walk ourselves out to a plank. We hold and stick our plank, pressing into the shoulder blades, parallel to the floor. We walk back in and we come back to standing, engaging the glutes and the hamstrings. Coming all the way back, hands come into the chest, hips are parallel to the floor, and we stand back up. Good. Continuing this to our speed. Enjoying the pause at the bottom and the top. Coming up on our toes, in our plank, feeling the glutes light up as we come back up. Engaging the abdomen. Maybe starting to notice our breath, the ujjayi breath activating through the back of our nasal cavity. Maybe we're not bending our knees as much as the back of our legs start to warm up. And we're able to touch the floor with a little bit more ease. Let's do three more. Last one here, we're gonna hold. And we're gonna hold our plank. Just hold the plank. Feet can stay at hip width, pressing into the shoulders, 
loose neck, abdomen is engaged, and we're building resilience, focusing on our breath, Three more breaths. Two. And we walk back in. We come back to standing. Good. Taking a deep breath in between. We're going to do a few more sets just like this. Walking out. Holding in a specific plank. Walking back in. Ah, here we go. Walking all the way back out, holding our plank, and we'll do some groiners. So bringing our toes together, left knee comes to the left elbow, replace, right knee, right elbow, replace, keeping the hips nice and tight, parallel to the floor, ne neck is loose. Slow and steady with purpose and intention, feeling the abdomen light up. Feeling our chest stabilize us, lift our arms, building strength physically and mentally. Three more on each side. Two. Last one. And we walk all the way back in, coming back to standing. Yay for that. Bring our hands out in front and let's give them a little wiggle. Back of our hands, rinsing out the wrists. Grabbing a sip of water anytime we might need. Next plank, we'll come into a forearm plank and we'll hold there. Deep breath in between. <sighs> we side out. All the way back down. We walk up. We find our plank, we have options to lower down. Both elbows at the same time through chaturanga or one elbow at a time. And we come into our forearm plank. We're gonna hold here. Again, with good form, torso is parallel to the floor. We're up on our toes. We're pressing into the shoulder blades. Whole front body is engaged here. Our necks are loose. And we're smiling, right? <laughs> Loving the strength that we're building, the energy that we're feeling in our front body and core. The legs are fully dynamic for three more breaths. Two, last one. We come back into our full plank, however we get there. <laughs> and we walk back in. We come back to standing, rinsing that out. Deep breath in between. Ah, checking in with our hearts. What's it telling us? Are we smiling? Good. We'll walk all the way back out to our full plank. And we'll do some chaturanga press ups. So elbows are tucked into our side body. The elbows are facing forward. We're wrapping the triceps underneath us. Our torso is nice and tight and we can lower down halfway and press back up. Chaturanga press up. Here we go. Torso is nice and tight, keeping it parallel to the floor. If we lose that form, we come down onto our knees. We're not here to injure ourselves. If our lower back is telling us that this isn't working for us today, we lower to our knees. We keep working our upper bodies. Keeping the abdomen nice and tight. We're breathing. Three more. Come on, triceps. Breathing, using the breath to power our motions. Back to our plank. Down dog, plank, walk in, walk up, 
Stand up. Oh, shake that out. Might be a good chance to give ourselves a little shake. Move around that energy. Well done. Again, we grab a sip of water at any time. And our next plank set will be plank to down dog with alternating toe reaches, leg reaches, optional. Deep breaths in between. And when we're ready, we walk out, we hold our plank, pressing into the shoulder blades, keeping our feet about hip width apart, and we press into down dog, lifting our hips, option to reach the right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot, or wherever on the leg it can reach or make contact with Floating back to our plank, holding and sticking the plank. Finding our flow and our rhythm. Loose neck, not allowing the hips to sag. And of course, we always have our child's pose for restorative moment as needed. Continuing to build our shoulder strength, stretching out the back body. Three more each side. Doing our best. No competition. And there is no judgment. I think we have one more on each side. <laughs> we stick our plank and we walk in, walk up, stand up, rinse it out, rolling the wrists <coughs> as desired. Catching our breath, resetting. And we take a deep breath in between. Ah. One more time. We're going to make our way all the way back down. Sticking our plank. And this time with one leg, we're going to extend and tuck in. Extend and tuck in. Option to come all the way into a down dog extension. And then hugging the knee into the chest. Listening to our back and our neck. Perhaps the inversion feels really good on our spine today. Inhale, we extend. Exhale, we come all the way into our single leg plank. Hugging the knee in. Our speed, our range of motion. Continuing to build our upper body strength while creating a little bit of space in the back of the body. Three more. Two. Let's do one more. And we come all the way back to our plank. Walking in. Standing all the way up. Taking a few breaths here to rinse out, to catch our breath, to reset however we need. Deep breaths in between. And we work our way all the way back down to do the opposite side. So whatever we do on one side, we do on the other. Walking out to our plank. Lifting the opposite leg, hugging the knee in, 
perhaps floating into our down dog as we did on the other side. Finding our flow, matching our movement to our breath, feeling the body work while also stretching the back of the leg, feeling the glutes engage, and the benefit of the inversion of our spine. Good flow with our breath. We'll do three more. Last one. Coming back into our plank, lowering our knees, and we'll walk into our child's pose, extending our arms long on the mat, sinking our hips back. And again, taking a few breaths here to rinse out the wrists, to find stillness, a sip of water, or whatever the body is craving. Excellent. Rolling ourselves all the way back through our child's pose, through all fours, back into our plank, pressing the hips up. And we'll come into a down dog. Good. Pressing the heel towards the earth. Letting our heads hang heavy. And we'll float through a lunge sequence with an external rotation. So, lifting the right leg high, we float through our plank into a lunge. Good. Inhale, we're reaching the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna rotate over that right lunge leg, looking back. Inhale, we're reaching up. Exhale, plank, down dog. Next, inhale, we lift the left leg, stretching all the way through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, rotation. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hinging forward, plank, down dog. Good. At our speed, inhaling, lifting the right leg up. Stepping through, lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, rotation. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, plank, down dog. Taking any breaths along the way that we need. Pausing, restoring, and repeating. Finding our flow. Appreciating the pause in each pose. Feeling the heat that we're generating, the strength and stability. Working through our wobbles to build strength. Floating with our breath. Let's do one more on each side. Whatever speed that is for us.
We meet up in down dog. And we walk in back to standing. Take a moment to pause in our forward fold if that feels yummy. And when we're ready, we roll up. Coming back to face me. Hands together. Deep breaths in between. Good. Right knee comes to 90 degrees. Foot is flexed. And we'll step out into a lateral lunge, keeping the left leg nice and solid. Right leg comes back up to 90. And we step up. Tall torso. Find length from the tailbone to the crown of the head. We're not rounding the spine. Hands can stay at heart center or they can come onto our hips. Or we can bring them parallel to the floor if that feels a little more stabilizing. Inhale, center. Exhale, lunge. Three more. Two more. Last one. Holding here. Good. Tall torso, rolling the shoulders back and down. Palms are pressing together. And straightening that right leg, coming back to center, forward fold, hinging forward. Pressing into the back of the leg, straightening the feet out and allowing the head to hang heavy. Pressing the torso parallel to the floor, inhale. Exhale, bending the knees tucking the heels in, and we come all the way back up, however we get there. Bringing our feet back together, and we'll do the opposite side. Bring your hands back to heart center or onto our hips. Left leg comes up, flexing the foot, and we step out, keeping our right leg as solid as possible. Micro bends where and when needed. Building that stability of our legs and our feet, the feet that we need to ground us. Feeling all four corners of the foot pressing into the mat. Tall torso. What's happening in our jaw, making sure that we're not transferring stress there. Enjoying the pause in our lateral lunge, building strength, working through our wobbles, perhaps reflecting on our intention or an affirmation that might serve us. Three more. Two. Last one. We'll hold this next one down. Resetting, checking in with the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. The spine is long. Deep breaths. And straightening the legs, hinging forward. Straightening the feet, pressing into the back of the legs, letting the head and the arms hang heavy. Deep breaths in, <sighs> sighing it out. Torso comes parallel to the floor as we press our hands into the earth. 
And we make our way all the way back up to standing. However we get there, rolling the shoulders, lifting the head. And we'll repeat this sequence, but this time with a reverse curtsy. So back to the right leg, bringing it up, flexing the foot, and we step back, reverse curtsy. Right leg comes back to 90, and we step back. Our range of motion, our speed, maintaining a tall torso, gentle gaze. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Moving with our breath. Feeling the heat we're generating. And enjoying whatever pause we are able to muster as we continue to build stability. Noticing the warmth and the flexibility we're creating in our hips. Three more. Deep breaths through the nose. Activating our ujjayi breath to continue to balance our breath. Calm and steady and checking in with the shoulders. Are they floating up around the ears? Let's cross that leg over, sink into a chair. Oh, yummy sensations in the back of the hip. Tall torso, pressing the palms together. Dynamic tension. Where's our gaze? What's happening in our jaw? What can we calm or soften? One more big breath here. And we inhale, we reach up, stand up, let it go, rinse it out, shake it out, sip of water, whatever feels good. And we reset to repeat on the opposite side. Hands back to heart center. Check in with the shoulders, the neck and the jaw. Left leg comes all the way up to 90, flexing the foot. And then we step back, reverse curtsy. Finding somewhere to gaze at, checking in with our grounded foot. Our range of motion and our speed. Seeing if we can float to the rhythm of our breath. Maintaining presence in this moment. Again, appreciating whatever pauses we can build in to our practice. Three more. Two. Last big range of motion. We come back to 90. We find our shoulders are away from our ears. Gentle expression on our faces. Calm, steady rhythm of breath. We cross our leg over. We come into our chair. Checking in with our form. Checking in with the yummy sensations in the back of our hip. Pressing our palms together, lifting our hearts. Good, inhaling, reaching all the way up, standing up. And we rinse that out. Oh, rolling, rinsing giving it a shake if that feels good. 
sip of water, and we reset back into our mountain pose. Checking in with all the vibrations and the sensations from head to toe. Checking in with the breath. Perhaps a change of mood or energy since the beginning of our practice. Bring our feet just a bit wider than hip width. Toes are pointed out. I want to sink into a squat here. Standing the arms either parallel to the floor or slightly raised. And we'll pulse. Gentle expression on our faces. Maybe feeling a different sensation in our quadricep muscles to when we first started our practice. Noticing how our breath starts to change as our nervous system starts to activate. We need to engage our breath a little bit more. Three, two, last big breath. And we hinge forward, forward, fold, yay for that. Catching our breath, pressing into the back of our legs. Maybe we bounce, bending left to right, left to right. Or perhaps we bring our elbows, our hands to our elbows, and we shift our left, our weight, left to right. Shifting and bending the knees. Stretching through the back of the legs, into the lower back. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Maintaining our calm inner strength. Two more on 
each side. Feeling our shoulders start to heat up. And we meet up in plank. We lower all the way down, chaturanga. And coming into cobra or upward facing dog, flattening our feet, arching our spine, looking up. Deep breaths in, and we lower down. Child's pose, pressing back through plank, sinking our hips back. Oh, yay for that. Shifting our weight left to right, or finding stillness, rinsing out the wrists. We have finished our last plank set. Yay for that. Resetting here, checking in with our breath, the rhythm of our heartbeat. Then we roll up gently into kneeling pose, grabbing a sip of water on the way. We'll bring our toes straight underneath the shins. Extending our arms parallel to the floor, interlacing the fingers, pressing the palms forward. Ah. Tucking our tailbone underneath us. And on the inhale, we lift our arms, opening our chest and abdomen, arching the lower back. Exhale, we round forward, bringing the arms back parallel to the floor. Inhale, reaching up, arching gently. Exhale, rounding forward. Our range of motion, whatever feels good. Deep breaths in, filling the lungs. Noticing the abdomen engage as we exhale, looking back towards our belly button. Creating space in our spine, fluidity. Getting the synovial fluid moving, lubricating, nourishing the space between each vertebrae. Two more. And we release, letting our arms come down rolling ourselves up gently coming out of toes pose we'll come into easy seated pose either easy seated with the left foot in front of the right or the left foot on top of the right and we'll just do a little bit of hip opening sequences to finish off today inhale reaching the arms over the shoulders Exhale, rotation to the right, up on the fingertips, elongating the spine, gazing over the shoulder. Deep breaths in to nourish the tissues along the neck and the spine. Breathing into any areas of discomfort that we might be holding, patterns of tension in our jaw, our shoulder, our neck. Three more big breaths. And 
and a gentle expression on our faces. Inhale, reaching up, centering ourselves. Exhale, hinging forward, bringing our hands in front of us. Finding the ground with our hands or our forearms. Noticing sensations in our spine, in our hips, the back of our legs and our glutes. Just bringing our awareness there. Noticing how the sensations transform. And on the next inhale, we'll press our torsos all the way up, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders, and head. Rinsing that out, extending the legs long on the mat, giving them a little wiggle. And then we'll bring the opposite leg in front or on top, whichever suits us today. Finding our position here, inhale, reaching our arms up. Deep breaths in, lengthening through the side body, exhaling, rotating to the left, up on the fingertips, looking over our shoulder, deep breaths in. Softening the expression on our faces and any tension we're holding in our jaw. Breathing light and spaceness into our neck, our upper back, our shoulder. Noticing our calm, steady rhythm of breath. And on the next inhale, we reach up, centering ourselves. And exhaling, we hinge forward, bringing our hands or our forearms to the earth for support. Elongating our torso and melting into our hips, our back, our glutes. And once again, bringing our awareness to any yummy sensations that we might be feeling. And noticing how they transform. Two more breaths here. And then we'll slowly press ourselves up, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders and head, extending our legs long, giving them a wiggle, setting ourselves up in Dandasana. Inhale, reaching the arms up, flexing the feet, toes are pointed up. And we exhale, hinging forward, option to hold, parallel to the floor, pulsing. Option to bring the arms down to the earth, passive stretch. Tucking our chin to our chest, wherever we may be. And once again, checking in with the vibrations, the sensations, and our breath. Seeing if we can slow the breath a little bit more, bringing a sense of calm to our body and our mind. Finding stillness and bringing the right hand to the left leg 
Gentle rotation here. Breathing into the back, the left side of the back body. Letting our head hang heavy. Noticing any areas of tension or patterns of tension that we might be holding. Keeping our feet flexed, toes are pointed up. As we breathe into this gentle twist. Noticing how muscles in various parts of our body start to soften. And come back to center. Reaching the left hand across the body towards the right foot, right ankle, wherever it falls naturally. Using the leg as leverage for our gentle twist, breathing into it. And letting go of that tension that we're holding as we breathe through, exhaling the tension. Five breaths, four more, three, two, and one. We come back to center, and we roll ourselves up gently, stacking the vertebrae, shoulders and head, and using our abdomen, we're going to slowly lower ourselves down to the earth. Perhaps we extend our arms parallel, keeping our chin tucked to the chest as slowly and carefully as we can, lowering ourselves all the way down, bringing the back of our hands to the mat or our palms to our abdomen, allowing our body to settle in, the spine to assume its natural curvature, and feeling the contact our body makes on the earth below. Back of the head, shoulder blades, back of the arms, elbows, maybe the palms or the hands, the hips, the glutes, the hamstrings, back of the knees, calves, and heels. Taking in a few deep breaths in through the nose and sighing it out through the mouth. Appreciating the pause at the top and the bottom. Noticing the energy of our body and how it may have changed from the beginning of our practice. Perhaps reflecting on the intention we may have set at the beginning. Or perhaps setting a new one for the days ahead. With smiles on our faces, we give thanks for the opportunity to practice. We give thanks for the sensations that we feel in our bodies, the ability to feel, and the feeling of transformed energy and sensations. Reflecting on blessings, things that we might be grateful for, our health, our community, and our strength.
taking the time we need to imprint the practice on our bodies and minds. And when we're ready, maybe adding some micro movements to our ankles, our wrists, our knees, hugging ourselves up into a little ball and rolling ourselves up gently when we're ready, coming back to the space around us and the day ahead. Bringing our hands together and smiles in our faces. Thank you for taking the time to join me and the time to build on your practice and to move your body. Namaste.